welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over all of the upcoming Marvel projects that were announced on Disney Investor Day. I'm going to give you all of the release dates that I currently have, but please keep in mind that due to the pandemic, things may change. First, I want to talk about the series that are coming to Disney+. Plus. First up is WandaVision, which will be released on January 15th, 2021. It will follow Wanda and Vision living idealized suburban lives, and it will have lots of references to classic sitcoms. I have been really impressed with the trailers for WandaVision so far. It seems very different to the typical Marvel movie, and I think it will bring in a lot of new viewers. Also, it was recently announced that the Lopezes who wrote Frozen have written some songs for the show. The snippet that they released sounded amazing, so I'm really excited. Second to be released on March 19th, 2021, is The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It will star Anthony Mackie as the Falcon and Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier. The pair who came together in the final moments of Avengers Endgame will team up on a global adventure that tests their abilities and their patience. It will be like a Marvel movie played out over six episodes. Third to be released is Loki, which will debut in May 2021, but there is no set date yet. Loki will step out of his brother's shadow in a new series that will be a crime thriller. It will obviously feature Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Other cast members include Owen Wilson, Gugu Barton Raw, Sophie DiMartino, Wumi Musaku, and Richard E. Grant. I really enjoyed the trailer that they showed, so I think it's going to be really good. Fourth to be released is What If, an animated series coming in summer 2021. It will reimagine famous events from Marvel films in unexpected ways. Basically asking, what if? The voice cast will feature many actors reprising their roles from the MCU. Ms. Marvel, which will launch in late 2021, introduces a new character to the MCU, Kamala Khan, who is a 16-year-old Pakistani-American growing up in Jersey City. She is a great student, an avid gamer, and a fan fiction scribe, with a special affinity for superheroes, particularly Captain Marvel. But Kamala struggles to fit in at home and school until she gets superpowers. Newcomer Iman Bilani will play the leading role. I really like the concept of this series. I know there has been a lot of controversy surrounding the casting for this show, and I really hope they sort it out because it's got a lot of potential. Hawkeye will also debut on Disney Plus in late 2021, and it will star Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye and Hayley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. The main reason I'm excited about this series is just for Hayley Steinfeld, because she is amazing. The cast will also include Vera Flamiga, Fra Fi, and Alaqua Cox. Another series is She-Hulk, which will be a comedy series released sometime in 2022. It will star Tatiana Maslany as She-Hulk slash Jennifer Walters, a lawyer who specializes in superhero legal cases. Many Marvel characters will return, including Tim Roth as the Abomination and Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. I think that all the cameos in this show will make it a lot of fun. Another 2022 series is Moon Knight, which will be an action-adventure Indiana Jones type series. It features a complex vigilante who suffers from dissociative identity disorder. Additionally, the backdrop of this series will be Egyptian iconography. A Secret Invasion series is in development that will star Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury and Ben Mendelsohn as the Skrull, Talos. It is a crossover comic event series about a fraction of shape-shifting scrolls who have infiltrated every level of life on Earth. Einhardt is yet another series. It will star Dominique Thorne as Riri Williams, a genius inventor who creates the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. Both Secret Invasion and Einhardt will link directly to MCU feature films. Armor Wars will be a series about Tony Stark's worst fear coming true, his tech falling into the wrong hands. It will star Don Cheadle as Jim Rhodes, aka War Machine. Something that I think will be really fun is the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special to be released during the 2022 holiday season. It will be shot during production for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is set to be released in theaters 2023. Finally, there will be a series of shorts on Disney Plus called I Am Groot, featuring everyone's favorite baby tree. This looks like it will be targeted towards a younger audience. On to the feature films. The first feature film to be released is the long-awaited Black Widow on May 7th, 2021. It will open exclusively in theaters, apparently, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna go to premiere access like Raya and the Last Dragon at the same time. The film is led by Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, and Florence Pugh from Little Women will play Yelena. Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings is another theatrical release for July 9th, 2021. 
Fun fact, it was filmed in Sydney, Australia, where I live. It will star Simu Liu as Shang-Chi, who must confront the past he thought he left behind when he is drawn into the web of the mysterious Ten Rings organization. The rest of the cast includes Aquafina, the star of the upcoming Raya and the Last Dragon, Tony Leong, and Michelle Yeoh. Eternals is another delayed movie to be finally released theatrically on November 5th, 2021. It promises to be an epic story that spans thousands of years. It will feature a new group of immortal heroes forced out of the shadows to reunite against mankind's oldest enemy, the Deviants. The cast is star-studded, including Angelina Jolie, Gemma Chan, Richard Madden and Selma Hayek. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is shooting now in London and will debut in theatres March 25th, 2022. It promises to be a thrilling, scary, mind-bending adventure. It will star Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict Wong, Rachel McAdams, Chiwetel Ejiofort and Elizabeth Olsen. The film will also feature a new character, America Chavez, played by Sochi Gomez. It will connect directly to the events of WandaVision and the new Spider-Man film coming in December this year. Thor Love and Thunder opens on May 6, 2022 and will begin filming this month in Sydney where I live. Taika Waititi will direct, Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson will return and Christian Bale will play villain, Gore the God Butcher. Black Panther 2 will be released July 8th, 2022. It was confirmed that Chadwick Boseman will not be replaced by another actor after his tragic passing. The film will instead explore other characters and the world of Wakanda in general. Captain Marvel 2 is currently in the works and it will star Brie Larson. It will be released on November 11th, 2022. The cast will also include Aman Vellani as Kamala Khan from the Miss Marvel series and Tiana Paris as adult Monica Rambeau, first appearing in WandaVision. Seriously, everything is connected. Additionally, there will be a third Ant-Man film. It will be called Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas and Michelle Pfeiffer will return. However, there will be a cast change for the character of Cassie Lang, who will now be played by Catherine Newton. Now, I'm generally not a fan of cast changes, but Catherine Newton is really good in The Society and Big Little Lies, so I think she'll do well. Another new addition will be Jonathan Majors playing Kang the Conqueror. There will be a Blade movie starring Academy Award winner Mahershala Ali in the title role. They didn't share any other information about this project, but they have promised announcements very soon. A very new announcement that has got a lot of attention is that a Fantastic Four movie is in development. It will be directed by John Watts, who directed the recent Spider-Man films. Anyway, that's all of the Marvel announcements. Thank you so much to everyone that stuck with me till the end of this video. I know it was a very long one. Please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.